Pakistan has a long history of struggle. People in Pakistan have sacrificed enormously for the cause of democracy and rights. We have people who love humanity, people who are still respecting all kinds of religions. We have an enormous intellectual scholarship in defining the world order, in saying to the world what kind of world do we envisage. And we are talking to people all over this country that this is the time, let's get together and fight out the forces of evil in Pakistan. Meet Mohammad Tasin, Executive Director of South Asia Partnership of Pakistan, SAP PK for short. Both the man and the organization are at the forefront of a 17-year-old people power movement in Pakistan, a movement which has special ties to Canada through the Ottawa-based South Asia Partnership of Canada. We put together a group from all over the country, whether from women's movement in Pakistan or from labor movement or other civil society movements. It took us about one and a half a year to decide, yes, let's have people-to-people -people dialogue. Let people of various South Asian countries meet and advance and then promote their agenda, which is the agenda of peace and working together. SAP PK's pro-people anti-military movement throughout the past 17 years is one that reflects the reality of ordinary people, counting in women, religious minorities, and the poorest of the poor. That such a movement can flourish in today's Pakistan says a lot about how far the country has come since the dark times of Tassin's childhood. Sixty thousand plus people in 11 years were either whipped, killed, tortured, I mean, or they left the country. I mean, 60,000 is a big, big sum in 11 years. Kwano Malda's brother was in the Lahore fort, the most infamous torture cell, and his only crime was that he was a political thinker and intellectual of this country. And he would sort of say things which were not allowed at that time. Uh, two of my sisters, uh, they were hiding somewhere, uh, trying to avoid the military. My brother-in-law was in the jail. Every second day you will have midnight knocks at your place with military trying to look for my dying father. And the message I learned from my mother mainly and from the rest of family, fight it out. I mean, this is the time to fight. So right after my university degree, um, one found that, you know, forget about your PhD or pursuing any other academic uh, pursuits. You are needed here. Within the constraints of what was permitted in the Pakistan of the early 1980s, Tassin began to travel around the country to work on the development issues of unemployed and unskilled young people, both urban and rural. It was during these travels that he happened to meet people from South Asia Partnership Canada, who eventually did persuade him to start SAP Pakistan. From the beginning, Tassin and his cohorts brought to the SAP network their ideas about the connections between human rights and development. <laughs> 